Now let's put it all together. For example, if we start with a longer stitch length, which by the way, we can change while we sew, the longest stitch length is 6.0. That's a very long stitch. Easy to help hold something together and then see if it fits the item you're working on. And you can see a long stitch length. Shorter stitch lengths are gonna be for fabrics that are finer. I can reselect number one, kinda get me back to my normal setting of 2.5. That's one that I use a lot, that kind of that 2.0 or 2.5 is usually where I sew. If I select stitch number four, that zigzag, we can go ahead and see the stitch width and length on screen if you're a more visual person, but we can go ahead and make it wider. See how the picture's getting bigger over here? And we can go up as high as seven millimeters, and we can lengthen that out also just to see the difference in those particular stitches and see how we can get wider stitches as we go. The other thing that we were looking at is stitch needle position. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose stitch number one, back to a straight stitch. And you can see that if I move it to the minus side, the needle's moving over here to the left. I use this when I do top stitching, working with zippers. And anytime I just need to be a little bit closer to something without actually moving my foot, what's nice is, and when you want to, keep as much of the fabric underneath your foot at all times. So if you're gonna wanna sew right near the edge of your fabric, instead of having your, half your foot on and half your foot off, do the, diff, do the needle position all the way to the far right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do select number one. That'll get me back to the center. And then go ahead and go all the way to the other side. If you hold your finger on, that will move the positions quickly. And now I can get really close to the edge while my feed dogs and teeth touch my fabric at the same even place. Should I need to adjust my tension based on the screen that I am looking at? The tension dial is right up here at the top. We're gonna to leave it at five for most, most sewing. Really when you are using the same weight of thread in your needle and, and also in your bobbin, that tension really shouldn't need to be changed at all.